Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and dozens of people will gather at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront this weekend to raise money and awareness for breast cancer. This is all for the Coastal Edge Surf for the Cure, and here to tell us more about it is Heather Lacani and Wes Lane. You all, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Thank you. This is always a big deal, and we have hit 10 years of this now, a huge landmark for this. First things first, for people that maybe don't know or have never heard about this, this is kind of a weekend long event and it starts mm -hmm. this Friday. What do we have happening this Friday? So this Friday we'll kick off the 10th annual Coastal Edge Surf for the Cure with our silent auction. It's at our Coastal Edge at 21st Street. It's free and open to the public. Um, we'll have music from Vinyl Headlights. We'll have free dinner from Shadow Lawn Eats, um, drinks from Back Bay Brewery. And it's a great time for the whole family to come out we have tons of art and different op options for you to bid on, and all the proceeds go to help women in our community battling breast cancer. And that's not all that's happening Friday either. You know, I know we talk about surfing, but there's a different side of this yes, too. Yes, so Coast Sledge, we have to include the action sports, so we also have a skate contest. Um, we have Grom divisions all the way up to adults, so everyone can come out, watch the competition, or compete. And then on Saturday, the kind of name of the game, Surf for the Cure. What's happening Saturday, Wes? Yeah, the surf contest starts uh, Saturday morning at First Street, and uh, looks like we've got a great forecast on hand with a tropical storm out there near Bermuda. So we're really excited about the conditions this weekend and also about the opportunity to raise money for cancer research. But the surf contest is at First Street on Saturday, and we'll see men, women, girls, little kids, and a pro division. I mean, you know, the name of this has it, in, it's, it's in the name, the cure for breast cancer. We're searching for that cure, but we're also helping women with some free things for them as well that they can come through you guys and find. Yes, absolutely. So on Saturday, we encourage any woman who hasn't had their mammogram this year or is due for a mammogram to come out. We're offering free mammograms through Chesapeake Regional Healthcare. They'll have the mobile mammography out there. Um, so it's a great way to get tested. Early detection is very key for this disease. So definitely come out. You can register um, on our website at coastledge.com or surfforthecure.org. And if people want to get involved surfing or skating, where can they go for more information on that? You can enter the contest on, on liveheats.com, uh, but you can get information at any Coastal Edge or at coastaledge.com. And, you know, this is all happening this weekend, but there's something even bigger happening in the future. Yes, so all of the funds from this event are going to support 10 local women battling breast cancer with their out-of-pocket expenses. Um, you can nominate a woman for this um, donation through going to surfforthecure.org. And for anyone that maybe missed it in the beginning, where can they go this Friday? Where's the location of the time? So yes, yeah, so the silent auction is this Friday at 6 p.m. at our Coastal Edge at 316 21st Street down at the oceanfront. Um, and the skate contest will coincide with that at 6 o'clock. Um, we also have a 5K race on Saturday morning that's at 7 a.m. And then our surf contest will kick off at 8. And one more time if they want to sign up to surf. Uh, to sign up for the surf contest, you go to liveheats.com. All right, you all, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Always an awesome event, and congratulations on 10 years of Surf for the Cure. So much you guys are doing for our community. Thank you thank so, you. so much.